Hey there guys, and welcome to this um, tad report and ramble. Now, um, I apologise for not releasing the tad report on Monday as I have planned to, um, but I haven't been in the house to actually record the video and the reason will be explained in the ramble. I also didn't actually receive the TAD email until today. It normally comes through as a push a push notification. Didn't don't know why. Uh, so that's why you didn't get one. So I'm gonna include it in this. And uh, I think you'll be surprised, just as surprised as I am. Um, so this is like the third time of me recording this so I don't actually have to pick up my phone to uh, see the numbers. <laughs> um, so, last week, 30 of you, 30 of you went over to Tad and helped raise $25.50 for the channel. That's incredible. That that's insane that's over one week considering in the first week of doing it we raised 84 cents second week was about three dollars uh, third week i think was a little over 10 i think it was like 11 dollars and now this week 25 dollars 50. i can't thank you enough that is that is helping the channel so much in terms of being able to uh, buy better equipment because as we know all the money raised on TAD will only be going on equipment for the channel and I will be telling you what equipment we will be saving for each time we buy the uh, piece that we need at the time probably reword that a bit better but whatever moving on um, so that brings our total TAD amount to um, forty-one dollars and forty cents. That's basically halfway there. Um, I didn't think we'd be getting this far into it, uh, this quickly. We, we're gonna reach that goal so quickly if we keep up, uh, the, like the fundraising in this, this well. I, I, I can't thank you enough. It is completely optional, and I'm not telling everybody to rush. Uh, to the description to download the app and spend time watching ads. I'm not doing that, it's completely optional. Uh, but of course the link is in the description um, to TAD. And you watch free ads and it gets converted into money for the channel. And people are actually taking time out of their day to either watch their ads or even just to go on the ad, uh, the app. Um, and, and spending time on it to help so I, I, I can't thank you enough I really can't so uh, yeah nearly nearly high goal which is really impressive <laughs> yeah. so let's uh, move on to the ramble portion now there's not really a lot I want to talk about in terms of variety. There's really only one subject that I'm going to talk about. Uh, that's just going to be um, talking about what I've been doing uh, recently and what's been going on in my life. And it may or may not, um, you know, mean something to you too because it's just a scenario that we find ourselves in sometimes. So to uh, paint a little picture for you. Uh, I have known this person for a long time, eight years, eight years, roughly. And we've always been so, so close, so close. And uh, we actually stopped talking a little bit. And this made me really sad, like extremely sad. And I know uh, people out there will understand what it's like to not be able to talk to somebody who means that much to them. So, uh, 
but recently we got back in touch and absolutely nothing's changed still mean the absolute world to me and uh I actually rambled about this in my inaudible video and uh, it actually, it, it's, it's got a few uh, funny stories in it. We, uh, so we get chatting as, as normal, straight back into how we used to be and uh, we decide that we're going to go on some adventures and the first adventure we take is this ridiculously long car journey. We were in the car for so, so long. It was, it, it, I, I loved it, I loved every second of it though. Um, but we drove up, uh, drove over to a different town and bought these uh, Fentimans Cola. These will become important later. Uh, so we just drive to uh, the store in the next town and we're not sure what to do next. Um, in the end, we decide to drive a good, it must be about 20 miles, um, just to look at some veggies. Um, we, we got a little bit lost in the car uh, because the stupid roundabouts didn't have the, uh, a giant sign pointing towards the store I was looking at. Although, if I was in the right lane and I just looked straight ahead, there was this giant store I was looking for. I don't know why I didn't see that. <laughs> so I'm uh, I'm trying to wiggle in and out of this roundabout and end up going right behind this police car, which, got to admit, was a bit scary because I was essentially lane hopping um, to try and get back into the lane that I wanted to be in. It turns out it was the wrong lane anyway, but whatever. So we, we drove like 20 miles just to uh, find some bed sheets. We found similar bed sheets, not quite the ones um, that we were after, but we did find bed sheets with, uh, with cats on them. <laughs> Cat bed sheets. <laughs> I think the uni kitties or something, kitty corns. Cat, it was a cat with wings. With a unicorn horn. Yeah. The one we were looking for was a, an astronaut cat. Um, Astropause. I think. Um, so we have our adventure over there. And we're not ready to uh, go back. Because where I live there's absolutely nothing to do. It's, it's just boring. Um, so we decide to take the long way home which uh, essentially means if you've got where we were my hometown yeah, where we were my hometown we came down here and then like came uh, somewhere over here to go home now if you've been reading the news lately you will uh, you will see that Europe has been battered by a snowstorm me being the genius that I am, completely forgot about this snowstorm that was due to hit us. But, whatever. Yeah. So we go to this place uh, called Denby. It's extremely sort of hilly and mountainous. We go to this castle that's on, a, on top of a hill. Uh, thinking nothing of it, and we just sat and chatted for hours. I think it was about an hour and a half or something, two hours close on. Um, and it started to hail. Now, hail mainly being ice, hard little balls of ice. Uh, didn't really think too much of it, just thought it'll pass, it'll pass. Didn't pass at all. Got heavier and heavier and heavier and thicker and thicker on the ground. Now I'm on top of this mountain in a car that isn't very good at going down hills. It's got low profile tires and things. Um, but we just kept waiting and waiting and waiting for the air, for the hail to stop. Hail and sleet to stop. And eventually it did. 
sort. So I'm, I creep down this hill really slowly, really, really slowly. Uh, I'm a confident driver anyway, but I wanted to make sure that uh, this person felt the confidence in me as well. Turns out they did, which is good. Uh, and we have to go down the main high street. It's extremely steep. Um, and there are cars coming back up the high street. Now, at this point, I'm wondering why anybody would ever go out in the cars uh, in weather like this, especially up a mountain. Um, so it was just funny watching a load of BMWs and uh, Mondeos and people carries just spinning the wheels trying to get up a hill. Uh, yeah, they were, uh, Focus actually crashed, sort of. They, they, they weren't hurt, they just you could see the marks in the road doing that, and then they were just on a curb, but they were fine. Um, so, we eventually hit the traffic, and I have my Fentimans. For those of you who haven't seen my Instagram thing, that is what a bottle of Fentimans Cola looks like. Looks a little dodgy, doesn't it? looks a little bit like alcohol so uh, I'm just sat in traffic swigging this coal on the way in there <laughs> it was really funny it, it, it caught the attention of a couple of people um, but um, we eventually made it home because of where I live it's extremely sort of salty in the air because uh, I live by the sea so nothing really ever sticks not even ice it just hits the ground that's it gone um, so yeah uh, and the reason that I've been out is because uh, me and this person and two other people decided that we were just gonna have uh, just a day of doing whatever so we went for some food later on in the day uh, had a bit to drink then went back to um, the house. I had a little bit to drink and just watched films all night. So I have been awake all night, sort of. I got to sleep maybe four, half four. But this also leads me to uh, being extremely tired. <laughs> so uh, I, I didn't really want to do something too strenuous and I and I remembered having to do the uh, TAD report uh, so I just thought I might as well do a ramble and talk about what's been going on, on in my life it's been very up and down uh, life at the minute it's, it's like a big wave there's a lot going on um, but luckily I have the support around me so uh it, it just leads me on to sort of asking you a question and telling you a, that if you have someone in your life that you care a great deal about, apparently part of getting older is realising that friends drift in and out of your life. If this person really means a lot to you, don't let them drift out of your life. This person definitely isn't going anywhere anymore, ever again. Um, so, uh, yeah. All I'm trying to say is keep on to, keep hold of those who you care most about because it turns out that they might mean a lot more uh, to you and your life than you really think. It's only when you spend a long time apart that you realise that they are a crucial part of your life. Yeah, a little deep. So deep. Um, but yeah, this Fentiment's Cola, if you can pick it up, it's a little bit pricey. It cost me £2.69. Um, but it's so much better than, like, you know, Coca-Cola. It, it, it's, it's made with like a ginger and stuff, so it's it's really nice. 
I definitely recommend giving it a try. It tastes a lot like cola sweets. Uh, cola sweets don't tend to taste like cola. It definitely tastes more like that Fentimins. Also, while on this adventure, uh, a certain song was playing on the radio. And I'm not joking, it played all day. Every station, every single station I clicked on in the car, it was there, waiting. Now, I love this song anyway. I love both the songs that have been released by this artist. And it's uh, Ed Sheeran's uh, Castle on the Hill and Shape of You. These songs have uh, me like memories attached to them already. And uh, the meanings of the songs and lyrics have a lot of meaning already. I just think Ed Sheeran is a fantastic artist. And I don't care what people think. <laughs> it, it, you like what you like. And I love Ed Sheeran. And apparently so does everybody else uh, who listens to the radio. Radio 1, which is like the biggest radio station over here. It'd be like Castle on the Hill, advert, Shape of You, advert, Talking, Castle on the Hill. It was crazy. And he'd swap over to, uh, to another station. And that would be doing the same, same thing over and over. It's a good thing I'm not getting sick of this song. Uh, but it, it did give me an idea because I very quickly after listening to both songs, very, like, just on repeat since they were released, <laughs> I learned to, I learned all the lyrics uh, to both the songs and I know how to play them. And I... I'm not going to make it a big part of what I do, but I want to do a little experiment in uh, a video. A little musical experiment um, where I try and make songs all ASMR-y. Uh, I have a friend in the ASMR community who does ASMR singing videos, and there's going to be a link in the description, so go check her out. She's she's amazing um so and, and i don't want to step on that sort of area too much um because she does just a fantastic job of it um but i want to try some percussive asmr uh, music and singing and things like soft spoken singing so it may include guitar, uh, very, very soft, very, very gentle guitar, uh, a little bit of percussion, like natural percussion with hands, uh, legs maybe on the guitar, and just, you know, go with the song. It would be recorded properly. I, I wouldn't even go about it the wrong way. Uh, I can't word this properly. I'd record it the way that I'd record any of my songs. But I'd asmr it. And this uh, was all uh, thought up while I was singing along to uh, Castle on the Hill because I started to uh, tap on my legs and sing. Um, and I thought it was sort of rhythmic, sort of tapping or patting sounded nice and I thought if I can do this in a musical way it might work well as a video uh, so if you'd like to hear anything like that I can give it a go I can't guarantee that it's going to be done like tomorrow next week week after but it's uh, something that I'd like to give a go talking of things that I'd like to give a go because I've mentioned it so much vlogging channel that is going to happen I am coming up with a name and then I'm going to be building the channel I have a couple in mind uh, but feel free if you're still watching at this point I don't know if anybody's still watching at this point um, feel free 
to submit any channel names that you can think of that fit me. It can include the word Shoop because I'm Shoop on YouTube. I'm Shoop. I'm Shoopy. So you can include that. I'm even thinking of including Shoop into uh, one of my in, into a channel name. Um, and then once all that's sorted, I want to just do fun vlogs and record the adventures. And the person that jumped back into my life has decided that they will uh, participate in the vlogs as well because we want to adventure more instead of being stuck in this town that we have to call home unfortunately so have a think you don't have to you know you really don't have to because you might not be interested in vlogging in my vlogging channel at all but if you're interested uh, leave your name leave the name that you thought of and you never know I might really like it I might get in touch with you and say oh, yeah I really like this um, and maybe I'll do some sort of competition that's not set in stone so don't quote me on that what is going to be happening happening as a competition is the fan art that people have submitted now uh, I don't really want to call it fan art but I do because that's what it is um, I feel it was taken the wrong way uh, fan art to me should, should more be like art that has been um, given to somebody without them asking I asked for this because I uh, wanted to change my channel icon uh, and social media icons as well so that's why I asked if people would like to submit it not just because I uh, am vain enough to just ask for fan art <laughs> So it has been a while since I announced that. I announced that when I did my chewing jelly sweet video a while back. Um, and at the q and I want to announce it. I want to announce the winners. Uh, I have already got a couple of winners picked. Or at least one picked. I don't know. Can you see? Yeah, you can just about see that. Um, so if anybody is working on fan art uh, you want to get it finished by around the 6th of February because that's roughly when the Q&A is going to be out um, it's going to be on the Tuesday closest to that date I believe um, so if you're working on it then and you get it finished you can submit it if you like me to uh, just look at it it's fun art that's fine if you like to submit it for channel artwork then that's even better um, uh, don't worry about style uh, a couple of people have asked what sort of style I'd like it in um, and things like that I think it's to try and make it a bit more personal but don't worry at all about the style you go with whatever you feel fits the channel and uh, we will go from there uh, I'd also maybe like to use one as a watermark for the channel because I don't actually have a watermark which is uh, mm, can become an issue especially after when the whole problem I had with somebody re-uploading all of my videos a watermark would help with that although I can't add it to the almost 200 videos I've already uploaded which is a problem <laughs> uh, so yeah that's just, that was a, a ramble and a half I, I wanted to talk about just life what's been going on in life hopefully you've enjoyed it I'm going to end the video here because I'm I'm I don't know. I feel the ramble has run its course. 
Also, I'm still tired and I'm try trying to drink this coffee to uh, keep me alive. So, thank you to those of you who helped out on Tad. I will, uh, I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And back into the middle for one final. Bye-bye.